to be causally related to some other physical thing. Well, that's how you define it. That's what it means to be, that's what it means to be physical. Like the it means to be the brain. physical is for it to be causally related to other physical things. So how do you get from that to saying that there's no causal well, the, relations between physical and non physical because things. because the claim is because the claim is that the mental is non physical. Yeah, but Brenda, but they could have an argument for there being causal relations between the non physical and the physical without them understanding the mechanics of it, right? Like these specifics. The, the I, I'm sorry. I, it's a it's an epistemic objection when that doesn't mean there's an inconsistency. No, it's, not, it's what it means for something to be physical is is that it it has a, a is causal it is it is effect it is cause and effect what are the right? two propositions so, that are inconsistent um that that mental states are are non-physical that's one proposition if they're not yeah and if they're non-physical uh, what it means for something to be physical is that it has uh, causal relations. Time, right? You clearly don't know what you're so, saying, right? So, when you right. Say so, when so explain to me, explain to me how non-physical things, just, a minute, just, a minute, just explain minute, to me how non-physical things can have causal just relations. Just a minute, just a minute. So when you said there's an inconsistency. Is my mic working? When you said there was an inconsistency, you were just talking. Is my mic ass, working? Right. You're just talking out of your ass, right? Who just did so that? I'm going to ban him right so now. Who just played the bot? What, when I asked you what the inconsistency was, rather than say, you know what? I was just talking out of my ass when I said that, right? Instead, we're going through the same charade. Are you going to grandstand again? I told you I told you what the inconsistency Shut is. Up. I told you what it is. I, no, I told you what it is. The inconsistency is... That so mental states can't stand me. in causal relation to physical. Me. So this is why I said, why bother to go through the charade, right? When I said that earlier, right, you said, oh, this is just a, this is just a personal attack, right? And so then what I said to that was, well, look, we've been through this a thousand times, right? Where I ask you for the justification for what you believe and you start pulling things out of your ass, right? And then you end up getting caught out and looking like an idiot, right? Which could all be avoided if you just didn't talk out of your ass, right? So that just raises the question, like, why you do this, right? Why you waste everybody's time with nonsense pontificating on things that you know nothing about, right? Clearly, you have some investment, right, for some reason that nobody can understand, right, which is... uh in believing these things, right? Like, for some reason, you seem to think it's the end of the world, right? If there's, like, if non-naturalism is true, right? Yeah, are you Shut done, are you done with your trivial Shut little up. lecture? How long is this going to go on? How long is this going to go on? Can I go make some coffee and come back later? I'm not done yet. So we need to ask ourselves the question, why don't you just fucking read a book on the topic and learn something before you come and shoot yeah. your mouth off? I just don't get it. So, what is the point of so I just want to what is the point of wasting everybody's time with nonsense? Why do you So I just want to know are mental states are mental states independent of physical states? The question on the table is what are the two propositions that I'm con that I'm committed to that that are inconsistent? Right. Let's go through the charade. Let's that, go through the charade. Okay. Let's, go, let's, no, let's not let's talk about. How about I get? Uh, how about I get permitted time, to, let's to let's respond? Time going through. Let's how about I'm permitted to respond? Let's waste how about, how about time. that? Let's waste Could I respond? Let's waste I, I have a response. Going through the charade. Let's waste I have a response. Time. Going through the charade where I ask you to justify your claim and you start pulling stuff out of your ass and then I point out that you've been pulling stuff out of your ass and you look like an idiot. Let's go through that charade again. She, she so, me you answer, ask, Jack. The fuck? Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't let me answer because he wants to grandstand. So the claim is that mental states don't reduce to physical states. Right? So that means that they're the mental states that are the proposition is that mental states 
are non-physical. They're immaterial. Two they are in, that are they, they are independent. They're independent of mental of physical states. What is right? the matter with you? Right. So I physical you states, the I physical states question. stand in cause of relation stupid. to each other. You're so stupid, right? You said something so stupid when you talked out of your so, ass. So right? you can just badmouth me or you can allow me to talk. You're just badmouthing. You're not saying talking. anything. Shut up while I'm talking. You're not saying anything you're worth listening to. Started talking All you're going to do is just disabuse me. Why should I listen to you? Shut Guys, up please I'm stop talking. Talk, talking over each other. I can't hear either of you. No, no, no. We Shut can't hear either of you. Can we just deal with one question while at a time? I'm talking. Shut up while I'm talking. You talked out of your ass, right? You said there are two problems. Yeah, I'm just not listening. I'm just not interested in listening to this crap. Either I'm address talking. the, the claim or not. Act like a fucking adult. Shut her up while I'm talking. You talked out of your ass, right? And said, that's another inconsistency that they're committing. It is. It is inconsistent. And I said to you, I said to you, right, what are the two propositions? Right. But you didn't let me answer. You, what, you are the two propositions, me answer. what are the two propositions that I've that I'm committed to to that we're committed to, right? That are inconsistent, right? And that question has been asked what six times now, right? Well, you haven't let me answer. You you just talk over me. Ask the question. You can't answer the question, right? But you can't say, you know what. I was talking out of my ass when I said there was an inconsistency, right? You just want to waste everybody's time making up new inconsistencies that you think you can pull out of your ass, right? Why are you wasting everybody's time with this nonsense? Are you done? Yeah, I'm Go done. Ahead. Okay. Are you going to shut the fuck up? I, I, <laughs> I, I asked you. I, 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 what the two propositions are that I'm committed to. So I told you, I told you what they were. You said one. You didn't listen because you're talking. I, because I wasn't allowed to finish. Proposition number one. Jesus fucking Christ. Mental what, a fucking what a fucking job. Jesus. Proposition what number one is mental does not reduce to physical. So what is proposition number two? That, that physical, uh, what it, what it means to be physical is for things to stand in causal relation to each other, and if the mental doesn't reduce to physical, that means that if it is not causally affected by the physical, non sequitur, just causally is causally independent. Non sequitur. You just need to learn some basic logic, right? There's no that, 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 that wasn't a that wasn't a contradiction. Yeah, there's no contradiction. Do you think? There, well, right? do they think that the mental states are caused by? You haven't demonstrated by an argument, right, that there's any contradiction there. You're a fucking idiot, right? You no, all you do is you just, all you do is just abuse me. I don't care about your abuse. It doesn't matter. Time as I, I don't you care. Everybody's time. I don't care. You wasted everybody's time as I predicted. I don't care. You wasted everybody's time as I predicted. I don't, I don't, care. I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. Go away. You wasted a fucking adult. Holy shit. What a fucking child. You wasted everybody's uh, time. Jesus you wasted Christ, like, uh, time. you're not doing that. You you're a fucking time. child. You wasted everybody's time as I predicted, right? I said, I said, this is what you, 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 you just uh, You just talk I, over everybody, yeah, of course. I said, this is, this I is said, what they do. I said, you become Darth Dawkins. I said, you're not better than Darth Dawkins. I said, this is what you do, right? You, you talk out of your ass. Yeah. Right. It's just like you Darth Dawkins to me. Ass, right? This is what I they do. This is what they do. Out of your ass, and you say things, right, that when challenged, you can't defend, right? And I said, what? Why because you won't block me. I said, I said, why bother to go? Yeah, because you never talk. Said, why? You don't want me to talk. I said, I said. I said, I said, why I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, why I said, okay, okay, why bother? Okay, guys, why bother? I said, I said, okay, I said, why bother to go through the charade? I said, why bother to go through the charade? Because we know exactly what's going to happen, right? When you do that, I'm going to say to you, oh, 
So what's the justification for that claim? And you're going to start pulling more things out of your ass as you just did, right? I asked you to name two propositions that were inconsistent. You didn't name two propositions that were inconsistent. You didn't present an argument, right, with a valid inference rule that demonstrated any inconsistency between the two propositions. You're a fucking idiot, right? But rather than, like, try to learn something about the topic and learn some basic logic and learn how to construct a fucking argument— Instead, you just shoot your mouth off pulling stuff out of your ass all the time. Why do you do this? That's the more interesting question. You obviously don't care about the rule-following argument, right? You're not interested in understanding it. If I asked you to reproduce the argument right now, you wouldn't be able to do it. After fucking two hours of talking about it, you wouldn't be able to do it. So we need to ask ourselves the question, what explains psychologically why somebody would behave this way, right? Why would somebody behave this way? It's just entirely mysterious. Okay. Yeah. So the claim is that mental states don't reduce to physical states. That means that they must be independent of, of physical states. What it means to be a physical state is to have a causal relations. And if, if mental states are independent of physical states, then, then matter can't cause changes in mental states or, or and matter must somehow be independent of mental states that and that's because a they're causally because they're there's a it's what it means to be to be physical what it means to be physical is to stand in causal relations to each other right but that doesn't that doesn't say just because um like you say that um to be physical is to be in causal relations with other physical objects that doesn't mean that there's that's the only like source of causality it yes. doesn't mean that mental cannot be causal with the physical. Well, there, maybe, there's a, maybe there's non-physical cause. Okay. Ja, hold on. What non-physical cause can be? But Orson, it's obviously not the case that that's what the physical means. So he's just right? going to he's just going because, to badmouth me now. Because, right, it, even if we grant that actual response, at all. it can't be the case. It can't be the mace. It can't be the case that what it means to be physical is to be in causal relations with other physical right. things, because that would just be a circular definition. That's not what I said. It's a complete That's what I said. That's I, said right. I, I said definitely what it means to be physical is to be in a causal relations. You're a complete fucking idiot. Now, the other thing that she said that was completely stupid, right, was to say that because it's not reducible, to the physical, it's therefore independent of the physical, right? And that just doesn't follow at all, right? Now, if you, instead of talking out of your ass, right, instead of wasting everybody's time with nonsense, and instead of, uh, uh, if you had bothered to actually learn something about the topic for once before you opened your fucking mouth, right, you'd understand that that was a non sequitur, right? But you don't give a fuck about constructing a valid argument, right? You don't give a fuck about learning how to construct a valid argument. You just want to shoot your mouth off and waste everybody's time. You fucking flunked, right? Now, how many times are we going to go through this? How long do we have to listen to this bullshit? Right? So what it means to be independent is, to be, is for there not to be a logical or, or a causal connection. So when you say that the mental is independent, so you're the, taking the question. So no, it's so definition. You're the question. Then. It's a definition. What it means to be independent, for the mind to be independent of of, of the of the body, is is that there is a um, no causal connection between them. That's what. It no. Okay. What? Well, how do you know there's Wait, no causal ridiculous. connection between the? How do you know there's no causal connection between the mental? The point is, I'm sorry, guys, hold on, hold on, Brenda, give me one second. Guys, can we let Brenda finish her sentences before I jumping just, in on her, please? I just want to clarify. No, you just want to clarify how, how bad a person I am. Shut up. Oh, I just want to clarify for Orson what the mistake is, right? What she said is that because the mental is not reducible to the physical, it's therefore independent of the physical, right? Now, that's a clear non sequitur, right? Orson? Are you saying that they are, that it is dependent? Sorry. It's a clear non sequitur, right, Orson? Um, 
say that something I don't know is what not it reducible means. to say to something that's not reducible to something else, right? It doesn't follow that there's no dependency relation between the two. Right? I don't understand dependency relations. Well, what he's well, saying is in like he's contingent upon the say, other. If I say, right, that it's a necessary condition for there to be certain physical facts, for there to be certain mental facts, right? It doesn't follow that it's a sufficient condition, right? Right. So therefore, the non sequitur, right? Yes. Okay. So she flunked, right, Orson? She totally in more, the, in in more ways than one. By providing, Are you saying yeah, that the there's, point there's point is, the point is, the connection the between the mental the and the is, physical? The point, is, the point is that she was asked to provide a justification for the claim, right? And all she could come up with is an invalid argument, right? But now it's what are not, we going to get now? Are we going to get are we going to get an admission that she gave an invalid argument and she's going to have to go back to the drawing board and 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 concede that she didn't know what she was fucking talking about if this was her fucking justification? No, she's going to make up some new nonsense to waste all our time with. Okay, let's uh, try to go now. Is, is, is the claim is the claim that the physical can cause changes in the mental? Look, and if that's the claim, if that's no the claim, gonna, about then I'm going to say something else. If, okay, Brenda, finish what you were saying. Yeah, if the claim, if the uh, I, I started off with saying that the that the claim is the mental doesn't reduce to the physical and therefore is independent, but now he seems to be saying that the mind isn't independent of, of the physical. The mind is is stands in causal relations with the physical. Well, if it stands in causal relations with the physical, then it's physical. By definition, because that's what it means to be physical is no, to stand in causal no, relations. So, so, so what is it? What is it? If the mental, if the mental, uh, 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 can the mental is the that sounds like the first the consequent too. Is the mental caused by is the mental caused by the physical or not? Now you want to waste our time some more, right? And now he's going to whine about this up while I'm talking. Now you're going to waste some time, our time some more, right, by making me repeat what I just said. Now, obviously, it's not the case that what it means for something to be physical is that it's in causal relations with other physical things, right? Because that would just make the definition uninformative. You're just a fucking idiot for saying that, right? And I said that two minutes ago, right? But rather than accept correction for being a dumbass, right, you just repeated the claim you were corrected on. Right? What kind of a person can't understand a correction and then revise their behavior in light of the correction? Like, what is wrong with you? Right? Now, the second point is, right, we asked you to justify the claim, right, that there's an inconsistency. And what you said, right, was that it follows from the fact that if the mind is irreducible to physical facts, that therefore it is independent, right? Meaning there's no dependency relation between the mental and the physical, right? And I just explained two minutes ago for the second time that that's a straightforward non sequitur, right? But rather than say, oh, you know what? You're right. The argument is invalid, right? There's actually no inference to that conclusion from the premises that I presented, right? Rather than do that and say, you know what, I made a mistake, I gave an invalid justification, you just wasted all of our time by repeating the claim again. Now, how many times are you going to do that? So now we have a lecture. So the point is that, you know, your dualist, your dualism can only be true if and only if you know, mind is independent of the matter, and matter is independent of the mind. If, 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 if matter can cause, if matter can cause changes in the mind, or if mind can cause changes in matter, then 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 they're not independent. What? Therefore, his dualistic uh, uh, proposition must be false. I didn't follow that, then. I mean, 
Chris Knight. So J- Jack just went. J- Jack just spent some time to explain the difference between dependency and causal. I don't know why. It's about reducibility, not dependency. I don't know why you. Said- but that's what to be independent means to be uh, uh, causally uh, causally dependent. We're not talking. No, he just went. He just took the time to explain. No, that's okay. Saying the mental is not reducible it doesn't mean that the mental is not dependent. Uh, uh, oh, so oh, that there, I understand. Is there are, are there causal connections between the mental and the physical? Yes. On your yes. Well, then, then they're not independent. Why? Oh why come? Hang on. Why, so, why, I, 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 why is dependency well, reducibility? I just told you that dependency is not reducibility. Uh huh. No, Brenda's correct here. If she's talking about the brain, if she's talking about the brain and not other matter, matter in general, that's fine, right? But if she's talking about Jesus, that the on. thoughts themselves are going See, to be. This is the- why we wanted the room. If the mental is dependent and caused by the physical, then then it's then it's not then it's a physical thing. How it, it, you know it's caused by the. Phys- What's the argument? That's a claim. Because that's what it means to be uh, 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 physical is to stand and cause a relation to to something else. Cause a relation to something else. So you're changing your definition now. That's what, what I've said. I fucking listen. That's what I said the whole time. No, you well, fucking. What, what, what does it mean? What is, does it mean to be? Um, Causally related said, to something else that isn't physical under physicalism. It just means phys- it means physically causal, like related to something physical. Because something else must be physical under physicalism. Physical. What 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 it means for something to be physical is to stand in causal relations to something else. That's what it means. That so to something and physical. So, the only thing that it can stand in causal relations to is other physical things, right? But that's now, not what I said. How did I say that? Right? That's not what I said. Now that I, now I that didn't I say that. That's what it reduces to. That's what it means. Now that I've made that. Now that I've made that clarification to you, right? Are you going to say, "Oh, you know what? I was talking out of my ass when I said that they're committed to some inconsistency," right? When in fact, I've been totally confused this whole time, right? In thinking that physical things can only stand in causal relations with other physical things, right? But that's not in that any isn't, way. That's, that's, not in any, that's your straw that's man. Your straw man. That's me. not in any way implied by the view, right? So in fact, there's no inconsistency. But rather than say, you know what, I'm talking that's out of my ass. It's not your straw man. Me. It's a, this. I didn't say. Rather than say I was talking out of my ass or I was mistaken when I said that, right? You're going to be like Darth Dawkins, right? And Matt Bell, right? And you're just going to double down, right? And that's why the more interesting question, right, is not what's actually wrong with your argument, right? Or what our justification for our beliefs is, because you're not interested in any of that stuff, right? The more interesting question is the psychological one which is what explains why a person would behave the way that you and Darth Dawkins and Matt Bell does? I think this is just poisoning the well and and ad hom. This is just an ad hom. This is just an ad hom. If it were just poisoning the well, right, we would expect, right, we wouldn't expect, right, that if I asked the question, uh, why bother to go through the charade again, right, that you would actually be able to give a valid justification the next time. But are we going to just play the stupid game again where I say, okay, right, so give us the argument that establishes that there's an inconsistency between the two, and you pull something new out of your ass, right, which it then turns out, we point out, doesn't make any fucking sense, right? But rather than go to the drawing board and say, you know what, I think I need to learn a little How bit long more. Do- Listen to this fucking idiot talk and drone on and on and on. Rather than say, I think I need to learn a little bit more about philosophy of mind before I start pontificating on these matters, right? Rather than say, you know what, maybe I should learn something about constructing valid inferences since I seem to routinely get that wrong when they're demanded of me, right? You're just going to waste all of our time again, right, with pulling something new out of your ass, which we're then going to challenge, right? And so I just don't understand why bother to go through the charade. I just don't get it. How long? Then leave. Then leave. 
Then leave. Go away. Go. That's not Go answering away. the question. Go away. You didn't ask a question. Not answering. Yeah. You I didn't ask a question. No, you didn't. You didn't ask a question. So, you just. Yes, you just. The question was. The question was, why bother to waste our time with this ridiculous that, charade? That's off topic. Right? That's that's off topic. That's not what we're talking about. He so explained, try, he, no, explained no, why, he explained why it was an interesting. I, I don't give a shit. I don't care. 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 Shut up. About you sure you think? Well, we, we could Stop. almost say you just have we can take a vote on what the most interesting you question is. Emotional Shut up. You just have some sort of emotional attachment to physicalism, so we have to figure that No, I don't. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to talk. Otherwise, I'm not a, making finish the sentence. I don't know, I, what am I allowed to just, I, why can't I? Why can't I just 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 pontificate well, uh, as much as I? Can. Come on, you guys are talking about. Can she just finish and then you respond? Just not. So the point. Is, so, so so the point is right. You're saying that the mental is in some way uh, independent of, of the physical. That that they're that they are independent of, of each other. No, then you wrong. then you say you, you're interrupting yeah, her. I, why well, know that? You know, it's, it's She's been told this like three I times. That. That's wrong. Know that. I know that. I know that you claim that there's a dependency relationship. But if you say there's a dependency relationship, then it's not independent. And it is causally connected. And therefore, it's physical. We never said it. Why would it be physical that doesn't follow? Because it's dependent and causal does not mean it's physical. Yes, it does. That's what it means to be physical. Why? Justify that claim. Because what it means, it, it, that's just what it means to be no, physical. what it means, begging the question. Would you like to justify it with anything that is? It means to stand in causal relation to something else. I mean, you're just... That's what it means to be physical. If that's true, then you're just... You're just begging the question. You just beg the question again. That's true, then you're just... That's a definition, you fucking moron. If you if you think that's true, then you're you could just agree with the argument and then you're just redefining what we're calling the mental physical. That's what I've been doing, you idiot! Yeah, you're just redefining the terms. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you, you could so then you could just agree with everything we we're saying. There's no. no disagreement because you're just changing the meaning of the words. That means that physicalism could be consistent with what we're saying. You're just changing the meaning of it. You can, you That's what physicalism says. Physical says that physicalism says that the mental is just uh, uh, part of the physical. That's what it says. You're just changing the definition of the word. No, he, whatever. Uh, so, so if you're going to say that there is something different about the mental, that it is somehow not connected to the physical, then you, you you have to bite the bullet on that. You have to say that there can't be any causal connection between the physical and the mental. But yeah. you don't want to give that up. You don't want to give that up. And so you equivocate about these things. You say, well, there's a dependency relation. Well, what kind? Oh, well, we don't know. It's, it's a blah, blah uh, dependency relation. It's not a physical one. It's a blah, blah connection. What are you talking about? The the mental can depend on the physical, and the physical can also depend on the mental. Yeah, which makes them part of the same thing, because that's what it means to be what? to be physical. If they are in re, in causal relations with each other, then they are part of the same thing. You're just re, yeah, but you just redefined it, right? Like th that's not what anybody else is talking about. Your view could you could agree with absolutely everything we're saying. Let's say that's physical, physical sub one, right? And you're talking about physical sub two. So in physical sub one, the mental is not reducible to the physical. They're distinct things. There's a dependency relation, and uh, and one causes the other. But physical sub two, the definition under your you're just saying those things are physical. It's nothing more than semantics. <laughs> That's difference to be an ontological difference between these two categories, and there could be dependency relations to be on these two categories. And you're just going to say that they're the same thing by definition, by fiat. You're no, just 
saying I'm just going to. I think you're, I think you're I think you're misunderstanding. If they they are part of the uh-huh. same substance, if they are in 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 right. in a causal relation with each other, they're all part of the physical world. If they're in causal relation to each other, that's not. This is so dumb. Did you even listen to what Josh? That's said? not. That's not a bizarre view. That is the standard view. It's two different categories, like two different reference, and you're just you're using the same label for both of them. But like Josh said, there's an ontological there difference, is, difference if, and you're just saying these two things. No, are the same if the if, uh, Orson, if there is a if if the mental stands in causal relations to the physical, then it isn't isn't different. It is there isn't an ontological what? difference. There isn't an ontological because that's what it Why means. Because that's what it means to be a, a, a substance. It's to have this. It's to have a cause, a, you know, dependent causal relation uh, uh, relations with another thing. Well, this is this is just hilarious. Because if that's what it means, then it's not as if it means something different in some possible world. So all this nonsense that you were talking about when you were saying, "Oh, well, it's logically possible that uh, there's mentality and not physicality." Well, that wouldn't be the case, right? Because our analysis would be the same in that uh, in that possible world. So you weren't really criticizing us in that possible world. So it's the exact it's the exact same thing. You're just saying, "Oh, well, it is actually logically impossible for anything to be." Uh, non-physical and and causal and all that stuff. You're just saying it is logically impossible because that's just what it means to be physical. So you're just contradicting yourself. No, this is the same way that, for instance, I would refute somebody who says that there's a soul. I would I would refute that their their proposition that there's a soul by by showing right that the soul does not stand in causal relation to the physical body in any way whatsoever. How do you how do you show that? How do you demonstrate? Well, because that's you know that's part of of the proof of, of, of that souls don't exist by definition. By we would generally, what's the proof? Generally, proofs against the soul would depend on showing that that what they mean is something that it has no causal relations with the body, right? That's how we do it, and then so then we'd bring up the fact that getting drunk makes makes you uh, drinking alcohol makes you drunk right so does the soul get drunk why do you think they think that there's no causal relations between a soul and that's a that's part of the, def- when people when people posit the soul they posit a, a immaterial substance that has no causal relations with the material world no i don't think they well I that don't, do they I, I don't. People, that's what people mean by the soul. They mean that, that something is that is related to the that's, that, you, yes, that's what they mean. The material means not not to have causal relations with anything else. Stupid, stupid. You don't. How could there even be an interaction problem? How could you be so stupid? Souls could interact with matter. Right. Or with body. Right. the whole point of the interaction problem. Right. The reason why that problem is raised. Right. Is because we don't actually understand how there could be a relation between the two. Right. Or what the relation is. Right. But obviously, people who are substance dualists. Right. Believe that their minds cause their bodies to behave in certain ways. Right. So to say um, they don't they can't do that believe, logically. They can't do that logically. To say what? that they don't believe, right, that what they mean by a soul is something that can't engage in causal relations with matter or with bodies or with any physical facts is just the absolute dumbest thing anybody has no, ever that's, said. No, that's that's anybody. Has no, ever that's said not true. Before. That's how that's how we that's how we refute <laughs> belief again, in again, in substance again, dualism. Again, 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 it just boggles the mind, right? That a human being could say anything that dumb, right? After being made to look like a fool for hours for the nth time, 
right? Yeah, it, you're not adding anything to this. You're not adding anything to the conversation. You're just being abusive. Time, that you've wasted everybody's time with all this not garbage. Not adding anything. Back. You're just time. being abusive. You've wasted all this time. Wasted everybody's time with all this garbage. That you you're not adding anything, Jack. That you're, you're just that being you, abusive. That you could pull out of your ass, like just the most mind-boggling statement. You know, like you saved it. Yeah, you're not you saved adding it, anything, Jack. Saved it for last. You're you saved add- it for last. It's like you said to yourself, you know what? I'm going to just waste everybody's time for three hours. And you know what? I'm going to save the absolute dumbest, most mind bogglingly stupid comment for last, right? How is it that we're not going to ask ourselves the question? Why does she do Are you just going to drone on and on, how, on like this forever? That after saying something that dumb, right, that people who believe in souls don't think souls can physically interact with, sorry, don't think souls can causally interact with matter, right, with body. With inconsistent. They, they are inconsistent. That, right? That after saying They are something, inconsistent. After saying something that dumb, right, how are we not going to ask ourselves the question, right, what is the point of this exercise, right? That somebody could be this stupid, right? Have been corrected like 50 times, made to look like an idiot, right? And just keeps coming back for more. Like, what are we supposed to think? That you're some kind of masochist? I just don't get it, right? Like, why would you say something like that? Well, I, I want... Right. So there's perfectly good arguments against a substance dualism. It's just so, and, and I don't know. Nobody's it, saying there aren't good arguments against substance just, dualism. Just, you fucking idiot! I didn't say anything about there not just being good one. arguments against substance dualism. Yes, I just, yeah, you, you just droned on and on about some how bullshit. Stupid, You're complaining. How stupid could you be to think that what I said had anything to do with the idea whether there are good or bad arguments? Yeah, Jesus Christ. What do, you, do you ever right? just fucking Obviously, just listen to yourself? The thing that you said that was completely dumb was not that substance dualism is like a difficult position to defend, that there are good arguments against substance dualism or what have you, right? The thing that you said that was monumentally stupid right, after all this time that you've wasted of ours, right, was to say that people who believe in souls don't think, right, that souls can causally interact with matter. That's what it means for them. To they often it. don't. That's what, it means they for don't. Them. That's what it means for them to posit a soul. A soul, if it's going to be a soul, has to be something that doesn't causally interact with physical things. That is just... They so are, there that are quite a few so people who... That is... That is just so mind-bogglingly stupid. I just don't even know what to say, right? I mean, but there are the people case, who believe that. that. That's, that's actually that's, that's actually, that's that's actually what case. she was saying when she was if saying that case, when she was. If that were the case, there'd be no interaction. There are that actually the people who believe if that. If that were the case, there would be no interaction problem. How could you be so stupid to say something? There like, are people who believe that. It. They hold inconsistent views. I just don't understand. They hold inconsistent views. I don't understand. How they somebody, hold inconsistent how somebody views. Somebody could be aware. How long do you go on like this? I don't understand how somebody could be aware of the interaction problem and say something so stupid as that souls are posited as things which can't causally interact with matter. There are people who do that. What kind of fucking idiot would you have to be to say something that dumb? There are people who do that. It's just absolutely mind-boggling. Wait, what were you Why saying? Why would you say something that stupid? Because, I can't there people who believe that. because people believe that. That's why. What? What is this conversation even about? Well, it's, but then why would it be relevant to bring that up if it's, it's not it's not something that needs to the, the, it's about Jack abusing me for for God knows why after being corrected on the tenth for on corrected on it for the tenth time now we're gonna another ten fucking minutes guys how, how, how please Jesus please. Christ Wait, okay, wait. I muted you both. I'm unmuting you right away. But Jack and Brenda, when it's when you guys, no, we can't understand either of you the way your mics are for some reason when you're both talking. We don't hear what either of you are saying. But I'm gonna unmute both of you right now. Jack, please let Brenda go, and then Brenda, please let Jack go. 
Wait, but I yeah. want to hear what so, Fox. So she say. she just said she just said that's what people believe, right? Like, what is the matter with you, right? That you could. It's just been pointed out to you, right? You're so fucking somebody who invokes the interaction problem, right? Which is a problem about how causal relations are supposed to work between souls and bodies, right? So obviously, right, it follows from that that souls are supposed to interact with bodies, but there's some question as to how that works, right? Which is what the interaction problem is, right? So obviously, you must have been on like fucking drugs, right, to be aware of the interaction problem and to say something so insane as that what people mean by souls are something that can't causally interact with matter, right? I mean, and then, and then when I ask you how it's possible that you could say anything that was that insane, right, how you could say anything that was that monumentally dumb. You said, because that's what people believe. Like, what is the matter with you that you could say because that's what people believe? Obviously, they can't possibly believe that, right? But they do. An interaction they do. Problem. They do believe that. Insane. They but do. They say, say that. that. I just don't they get say it. that. I just don't get it. You will say fucking anything, right? But they do this believe that. Like, I've talked like to those, those people. Buckets. This they say like those Darth things. Dawkins. This is like Darth Dawkins saying one can equal three in spiritual math, or that clocks don't measure time, or that chance is another version of necessity, right? Or Matt Bell saying, yeah, the reason why the agent chooses A over B is because the agent chooses A over B. Like, there's just literally no constraints on what you're willing to say. You will say absolutely anything, right? And I can't understand what kind of a mind, what kind of a mind could explain that? What, how could it, how is it possible to be a person like you to say things that insane, right? How is it possible you could have thoughts at all if you could say something like that? It just boggles the imagination, right? You're just something a, a novelist couldn't even dream up. You're so fucking insane. It's just unbelievable. So wait, what's your point? He doesn't have a point. I mean, I don't agree with Brenda, but no like, I don't see what you're, what you're going on about. Who knows? The fuck knows? There's no consistency. The and Brenda, obviously, I, I only get to say a couple of words, and then he goes for ten minutes. The point is, obviously, she said something that was complete garbage, right? But now, when it's pointed out to her that it's complete garbage, right? She's going to do what Darth Dawkins and Matt Bell do, do, right? And what Aestis does, right? Which is she's going to double down on the claim, right? And just manufacture, right? All kinds of garbage to defend the absolutely preposterous claim that she just made by pulling all kinds of fucking garbage out of her ass, right? And waste our time for another two hours where we turn to her and we say, what's the justification for that claim? Yeah, so okay, so Brenda's are we done respond, with now. your so child? Brenda's going to respond now. Please don't interrupt what, me. There's nothing, there's nothing to respond to. It's just abuse. There's nothing to respond to. People do... Uh, people do believe in these things. People, I have run into people who believe that there is the brain, the mind, and the soul, and that the soul uh, is simply is somehow sort of loosely floating around the body, but it doesn't have any real connection with the body, and it, it's just kind of it's not really um, it's not really a, any kind of a, a physical connection at all. Does it even make sense? Does does a does a worldview where what the fuck? Now I wanted uh, Brenda to get to. This is the third time you've done it, and I have a recording. I'm gonna send Fia, your girlfriend. So Fia wanted Brenda to get time to respond, and this is the third time that you, not Jack, has interrupted her. No, 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 no. Godless Orson. I don't feel any guilt about that. She's she's. Constantly Probably. bringing up things I that should be criticized. What should be criticized about my my reporting that people have these beliefs? Orson, 
Orson is actually contributing to the discussion, Godless. He's, no, he's I don't think it's point. not about the context of what's being said. He's, it's about actually, the interruptions. No, but the point is he's avoiding... So what? What's wrong with interruptions? Yeah, I mean, all she does is spout and garbage. your fucking girlfriend! And, She's the and, one that was complaining before she left, retard! And, He's I, I can't here. hear you when you speak. Okay, here. okay, Fia, you're here. Now have the recording. Now, uh, we want I, Brenda, I, we, we, you and I both agree, we both desire it for Brenda to be able to not be interrupted so often, right? Uh, I have a recording. Why is Orson that has interrupted her three times, and then he just said there's why, no problem with interrupting her. Why, Will you why deal with it, Orson, please? Why, you may leave why, not. Why is it desirable to not interrupt Brenda? I don't get it. It's... It would make for better communication and no. conversation no. if you guys would just do a normal back and forth without interrupting each other so much. An interruption is very hard to interrupt. An interruption here and there or an interjection here and there is normal and okay. But constantly interrupting each other is not okay. Well, you're begging the question. I don't. The whole point. Good. The whole point is that what Jack is trying to say is that a person, you can't communicate with a person who's just going to double down and say anything. So you're saying there's going to be more effective communication if you do this is just assuming that you can communicate when that's what's in, uh, that's what's in, uh, uh, contested in the first place. I don't care what the conversation is about. I just want... Well, that's a really I, I, big problem. I don't though, care right? what the conversation is about. I don't care what they're saying. I well, just want why are we the conversation to be that have no contribution? Uh, heard. Why, right? why are we forcing? Why are we forcing fifty percent of the platform to someone who's a fucking idiot who's just talking nonsense? Uh, they're here to be able to listen, look, right? To be able to listen no. to both of them speak, and if they can listen to both of them speak because they're both talking over each other, then that's a big problem. If so I would like. Well, I agree with that, but I don't think anything. I don't think that I, much of what Orson, I did shut the fuck up, like dude. railroaded Brent. Just shut it. Or no, can I you have think your, I railroaded Brenda? So can you interrupt the couple fight, tasteless? <laughs> yeah, this is between them. So, so it, it it would be helpful, rather, if you point out where I'm wrong, rather than simply bloviating for yeah, for ten, twenty out, minutes. Right? I think what would be multiple things. But, 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 so many Brenda, things. Your response when people point out the errors in your reasoning is to just say that they're fucking abusing you but, or something uh, ridiculous like that. But Pogan, that's why you're. Getting but Pogan, you don't do that. You just bloviate about why it's 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 a bad thing to listen to me. Pogan, there is no Brenda, there is no interaction. Pogan, let's grant that Brenda's just for the sake of argument. Let's grant that Brenda's wrong about everything she says. You shouldn't have to interrupt her. You should be able to just wait till she's done and then respond. Especially when she's the only one. You guys are piling on her. She's I mean, the only one defending. But she's so I'm she's saying she doesn't show I, I any. She doesn't show any coherent. She doesn't show any like response to criticism. Well, well, I was well, she just, it's just, it's not criticism. It's just abuse. It's Alex, not critique. Oh, oh, it's Alex, abuse. Oh, oh, lies oh. the problem. Oh, I, lies I, the. I was just going to say, say like, with what Jack was saying. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, I, I was just going to say, like, it seemed like with what Jack was saying, it seemed like the conversation was coming to an end. Um, so Brenda might as well have got a last bit out. But I mean, Brenda, if you you, you I mean, the, we pointed out numerous things. I can't remember if it was Jack or Josh, right? They got, they got, they, like, they got you to the point right, where, like, um, Alex, Alex, all Jack did was bloviate about about how she's interrupting this. Alex. She's interrupting Alex. We can do that, right? According to you, Orson, we can do that. Look, Bre Bre look, Brenda, Brenda. If you're insinuating that all that was done is Jack and you, yes. right? Yes, you're being I, delusional. I, I, there was a explaining no. to you what the issues in your reasoning were. Oh, oh could you repeat that then for me, Bob Plogan? Look, I'm not going to repeat the entire 30 minute <laughs> Logan, conversation. Logan Get wrecked. You can't repeat look, it. Look, I'm not going to spend another 30 minutes repeating what they said to you. I'm merely <laughs> pointing out that you, at you complaining about the fact that they're understandably frustrated with you 
doesn't change the fact they they did in fact explain to you what the problems with your reasoning were. No, it didn't. Okay, it didn't at all. And I'll... me repeating and me repeating the issues in your reasoning is not going to change the fact that they were brought up to you and you had no meaningful response the first time. Why would we think you had would have a meaningful response? I was not allowed to respond, and all Jack did is say, "Why should we pay attention to to this meddlesome priest?" That's all he did. He didn't provide any arguments. There was, no was just argument. like, there was no argument. That was just him complaining. Exactly. And, and then when I respond, when I try to respond, I get over talked. So, so Pogan, since you seem to be relatively rational and not upset. What is the claim with regard to mental states versus physical physical states? I'm not particularly concerned with that right now. I'm but just pointing a, out to you that listen to, point. listen to me. If you're not going to talk hold about on, that, hold on, Brenda, because if we don't want people to interrupt you, we don't want you interrupting other people. Look, all I mean by I'm not particularly concerned with that is I'm not going to rehash the conversation that was already had with you. I'm just pointing out that right now what you're doing is not useful with respect to the conversation. Even if you think it's the case that Jack was abusing you, which I don't, right? It's still not useful for you to just complain about the fact that he's abusing you for the next three hours of our lives. If you're interested in responding to the points they brought up, uh, what report? What? point that they brought up should I, I respond to? I don't understand why you insist on me raising that with you. I'm not in the conversation so, beyond pointing this out to you, right? Jack and Josh are the so, ones you should be speaking to. Maybe somebody in the room could bring up the point well, of contention, the critique. The cr well, the argument that you gave question. didn't even lead to a conversation. Oh my god. I just have a question. Uh, so you think, so I want to get this clear, you think this is a physicalist view, right? I believe there's a mental uh, thing that's outside of space. It causally interacts with my brain. It's not my brain. You believe that this is a physical thing, right? On your view, right? If I'm correct. It didn't make any sense at all. Wait, wait what's confusing? I said there's a non-physical. Physicalism doesn't think that there's there are these things outside of space and time. But the physical interact with the physical world. Wait, Who thinks wait, that? Wait, wait. This is what Descartes believes. So I'm not. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm just I want to clarify whether you think this is a physicalist view or a non-physicalist view. This is the view that there's a non something that's outside of space, a mental thing outside of space that causally interacts with my with with the physical brain. Okay. But I'm asking you: Is this view on? Do you think this is a physicalist view or a non-physicalist view? Because that's that's what um, okay. So let me repeat that. Um, you're you're asking me. There's this view. That holds that there's something that exists outside of space and time not that interacts physically with the world, right? Or it's a, it's a it's not outside of time, but outside of space. Yeah, sure. It's a non-spatial thing that interacts. It's a non spatial non-spatial thing it exists outside of space and time. Space and time that interacts with with the physical world, right? Right. It's a contradiction. Well, That's a contradiction. Uh, because to be because to be outside of space and time is to not interact causally with the world. Well, I'm not sure how that falls, but look, I'm not, because that's how they are defined. Wait, I what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Because to to be within space and time means to interact causally with other things. Yeah, this sounds about that's what it means to be in within space and time is to interact causally. So you can't have something that's outside of space and time and yet interact causally. That's a contradiction. This is what I said a fucking hour ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, did so mind. you? Wait, you think? Wait, I just I'm, I want to get clear. You think that? Something to be spatial means. Wait, how do you? Actually, never mind. I just I just getting into it. Oh, rap. Forget it. Forget it. Yeah, you can't form a coherent sentence. So to be to be within space and time simply means that you are interacting causally with other things. That's what it means to be within space and within this this universe, this space and time. However, 
let me ask you something, Brenda. It's just a question. Now, imagine that there is a pool, right? Now, you're saying that's different. If I stick my hand into the pool, my, my hand never becomes There's nothing. Water. It does interact. Wait, wait. It does interact. It does interact. Shut the fuck up. It does interact with water, right? But my hand never, never becomes water just because it is interacting. 